Hey guys, we are back here in Call of the Wild and today we are actually going to be doing a Great One Trophy Lodge tour. Today we're going to focus on my four lodges that have Great One trophies in them. I do have every Great One in the game. Yay! As of last week, I am very, very excited. We got our first and our second Great One Moose. So what we're going to have a look at today are all of the trophies that came from all of these grinds. I am going to share with you the stats, how many kills it took to get each Great One, what strategy strategy we used and we will look at all the different rares and trophies that came from each of these grinds. Now let me know in the comments guys what your very best trophy is in the game and what your most sought after trophy is. What trophy would you like more than anything else in the game? I would love to know. And if you do enjoy the video guys leave it a like. We're gonna head straight into it. So this baby here is my very first great one ever. And it also was my absolute most challenging one to get. Now we started the whitetail great one grind two years ago if you can believe that January of 2021 and it took me an insane amount of time to get this whitetail he spawned on September the 6th and yes I started my grind in January so that's how long it took me and was I grinding the entire time most of it yes we actually started our grind in Leighton Lakes and we killed 2800 in Leighton. If you were playing back then, you will recall that that is when we started to have issues and the whitetail actually stopped showing up in their zones. So we stopped our grind and we went over to Rancho. Now this guy is my biggest whitetail ever, January the 22nd, literally three weeks into our grind, biggest whitetail, and I have not been able to beat that. What is your biggest whitetail so far, guys? Let me know in the comments. Now, I haven't had the best luck with rares especially with the whitetail grind I think we had around 40 rares and if you can believe it this is my very first gold rare for whitetail and he spawned August the 24th three weeks before the great one spawn actually that's two weeks he's the first gold rare I had 36 rares and not a single one was gold oh my gosh talk about a tough grind but don't the highballed bucks look amazing now oh they're so beautiful i did get quite a few melas and melanistic whitetail are just absolutely stunning now this guy actually came from revon Tuli. that is the grind we are on right now and he is a gold but we just got him less than two months ago and he is probably my best rare all of these are all diamonds. This is another one of my biggest ones ever. 272.4. He was a max weight. This guy actually came from Rancho. Now I am currently doing a Revon Tuli whitetail grind. No, I did not use any herd management for my whitetail grind. Maybe that's part of the reason it took so darn tootin' long. When I went to Rancho, that would have been in June, and we started grinding whitetail. Again, no herd management. It then took me 4,576 kills to put this baby in my lodge. So if you add those two numbers up, that comes to what? Around 7,300 kills. That's how many whitetail I killed to get one whitetail great one. So he is my most valued great one just because of how hard we worked and I picked every single kill up. So that was a lot of work. And what I did learn from that grind, guys, is don't burn out. If you feel like you're getting frustrated and I was feeling frustrated, go and hunt some Something else take a break it will not impact your grind it's not gonna hurt it come back when you're feeling more refreshed and keep going but just don't ever give up if you keep shooting it will spawn it it really will now my stats for that grind it's, it's getting hard to remember but I believe we killed about I did keep shooting after the great one probably put another 2,000 down so I believe we're around 9,300 whitetail bucks and then I started a Revon Tuli grind, so we're right around 10,000 kills. So that is a crazy amount, but when you're grinding, I would say a good average to spawn a great one is around 2,000 kills. Now you're gonna have, some people are gonna get them in 200 kills, and some people it's gonna be 5,000. It really, really does come down to RNG, which is random number generated, which bottom line, it is luck. No matter what strategy you use, you gotta have the luck. You just have to have the luck. So when I tell you that things were changed in the lodge, I thought you might find this fascinating. These are all super rare albino whitetail. And no, I have never killed or spawned a super rare albino diamond whitetail ever, but this is what happened with that lodge glitch. 
it changed them. So I just leave this to show people, but all my trophies, I believe I had about 25 diamonds that bugged out on me. So I just show the antlers because I don't want to show something that I didn't actually earn. So there you go. That's a super rare piebald. <laughs> we'll just put them back, but I didn't want to delete them because they're diamonds that I did spawn, you know, fair and square. So I'm keeping them. And then I do have an albino already and it is a silver, but man, getting a gold albino whitetail buck is not an easy thing to do. All right, let's go have a look at the red deer. Okay guys, we are now in my Red Deer Great One Grind Lodge. I haven't counted them, but I'm gonna say around 120 Diamond Red Deer in here. All in all, we have killed, again, around nine to 10,000 Red Deer Stags. And my last Red Deer Great One spawned on the two year anniversary of the channel, <laughs> right as I was shutting the stream down. And he was our biggest, isn't that crazy? But let's have a look at this beauty. Now, sadly, I did shoot him with the 300, so I didn't get full score on him, but he is still absolutely stunning, and TikTok loved that I did that. <laughs> Unfortunately, I was grinding in T Aurora, which was actually super fun, but that grind was actually done in the dark. Back then, Red Deer drank at night, and so I shot all of these red deer in the dark using the night vision scope. And for the most part, I did use the 300. And the reason that I used the 300 was because any shot into a red deer with the 300, no matter where you hit it, will kill it. Unfortunately, with things like melas, it's almost impossible to see that they are melanistic in the dark. So I also shot this one with the 300. <laughs> So we might need to go and grind some more red deer for rares, but I really don't need any more great one red deer. This guy is a level seven, he's a beauty. We did pretty well with the melas, so I think all in all I have at least five. There's five right here. Doesn't that look like a beautiful diamond, guys? Doesn't it? Look at this, it's a troll. That is a big rack troll, the only one I have ever gotten. He scored 250.7, unbelievable. But yes, you can get trolled by this rack. It doesn't happen very often, but it is definitely possible. This baby is an eight mythical that was, oh geez, we must have started before January. This is November. So I think we actually grinded red deer for longer than I thought. Sounds like maybe about eight months. On the first grind for red deer, I did not use any herd management. I got my first red deer great one in 4,400 kills. It didn't go so hot. I'll bring you back into the rare room in one second, but this, this is him. He took a step as I shot and I did botch the Red Deer Great One. Wasn't a great moment for me, but we did take the gold, and so one of my Red Deer is not full score. He's a 269.9, so remember that number as we go through. So he's a big one, that's a big wreck. Sad but true. Okay, so then we have February the 4th, 260.4. I think he is a big wreck as well. February the 24th, so that's just less than three weeks later, 266.7. So this guy is a small rack, March the 4th, 254.3. And this one right here, March the 24th. So we did pretty well in March, 268, and that is a big boy. So you can actually tell with the great one red deer, when they are small racked, the moss kind of goes about halfway to two thirds up the antlers. And with the big racks, the moss goes all the way up to the top. And that's basically the difference between them. This guy is the last one that we spawned. That was June the 7th, which was the two year anniversary of the channel. He spawned live on stream just as we were just about to end it. And he is my biggest one. He beats the botch. So for that, I am very grateful. The first Red Deer Great One took 4,400 kills, no herd management. The second Red Deer Great One grind took 2,200 kills, and for that grind, I started killing the fives and up. Didn't do any stacking. Then for the third Red Deer Great One, I'm not even sure which one it is at this point. Might have been this one. I actually found him on Quattro after an update when the map was reset, and he was in a zone that I had just discovered, I actually got an initial spawn great one. So that took me literally zero kills, no skill on my part whatsoever, but we just got very, very lucky. So then my fourth Red Deer great one took, I believe 893 kills and the fifth took only 498 and that is my lowest grind number ever to this day. And the last one on June the 7th, 
This baby here, he took 2200 once again. My longest grind for Red Deer was 4400 the very first grind, and then every grind after that. So because on my first grind, I was shooting absolutely everything with antlers, I do have quite a few little tiny piebalds. That's the thing is if you shoot bigger animals, you're gonna get bigger respawns, which means you are going to get bigger rares. Now I, again, terrible albino luck. This guy is an absolutely beautiful level seven albino, but I did not get him from the grind. I actually got him on opening day for Te Awaroa, and I shot him in the dark in the forest and had no idea he was albino until I picked him up. It was pretty shocking. Then during the grind, I only spawned two albinos and sadly they are both level six silvers. That's them and I do not have a bigger one. So if we were to go back and grind Red Deer, we definitely do have some trophies that we do still need, like a full score monster melanistic and a big boy albino. Of course, I would love a super rare. I do not have a super rare Red Deer, but I did get a nine legendary guaranteed troll piebald red deer and this is him right here 239.2 my jaw hit the floor when he walked out he was guaranteed so i knew he couldn't be a diamond but even when you get super trolled guys and i have been super trolled i believe six times since i have started on pc in a year and a half and i don't have a single super rare that's some seriously bad luck but we gotta try and look at it positively even if it doesn't make diamond that is one crazy rare wouldn't you say he is still absolutely beautiful. I think this guy's a level seven. Aren't they stunning? I believe I managed to get two mythical piebalds, two level sevens. This is a seven here, and it's stunningly gorgeous. I absolutely love, love this rack, and I believe that's a mythical as well, but I'm not sure. <laughs> it's been a while, I don't remember exactly, but we have a lot of piebalds. I believe there are about 35 of them. Okay guys, so now we are in my Moose and Black Bear Great One Grind Lodge. I have condensed the two, and part of the reason for that is Moose only fit on extra large plaques, and we did have the Trophy Lodge glitch patched a couple updates ago, so I can't put Moose anywhere that I want. So I decided I don't have a huge amount of Black Bear trophies because I got very, very lucky with the Black Bear Grind. I managed to spawn this beauty about 850 kills into the grind. Less than two weeks after the Black Bear Great One came out, this guy spawned literally as I was less than half an hour from walking out the door and going to the cottage with my kids. <laughs> I couldn't believe my eyes. That was completely insane. Definitely not my shortest grind, but I would feel like it is my luckiest grind. I was one of the first people to get the Black Bear Great One, and so here he is. He is a Fabled Glacier, 24 trophy rating, and there it is, July the 14th. We shot him live, and that was one of my favorite Call of the Wild moments ever. We did get him in Silver Ridge Peaks before the update. That is a much tougher grind now. Eventually, we will go back and grind for more Black Bear Great Ones. I'm not sure what map we're going to do it on. I'm thinking New England. But in so doing, I did get some diamonds. I think I have around only 10 Black Bear Diamonds for this grind. We did get a couple rares, but they aren't amazing. So the two rares we got, we have a female blonde. I believe she was an initial spawn as I was not shooting females. And I do have, I think that was a level two male, might have been a three. I forgot, I do have a couple more rares. It's been a while since we grinded for black bears. So over here, here is the multi mount for black bears. So we have a cinnamon male. I don't even remember what level he was, but he's a bronze, so he is not much. Then we have just a diamond with him. So then what I actually did was I started a moose grind in September before the moose great one came out. I wanted to learn how to grind moose effectively, and I feel like I learned a lot from that grind. We managed to spawn around 50 diamonds with 3,300 kills, and that is what we were at for moose, 3,300 kills when the moose great one came out. So then I started from scratch. So my first great one moose spawned three days before Christmas. This is him here. We didn't shoot him right away. I was afraid he was gonna change fur types in the lodge. 
that has been happening, but I believe it is only happening when you have a rare furred great one moose, which sadly we do not have yet, but I am planning to spawn one. I don't know when, but we're gonna keep shooting until that happens. So that's our second great one moose. We shot him immediately on that stream. I don't know, what do you guys think? Out of these two great one moose, which rack do you like better? But look at his trophy rating. This great one is a 187.5. Isn't that strange? Diamond for Moose is 274.99. This guy has a much higher trophy rating. Still not massively higher than a diamond, but at least it is in the ballpark. This guy's a 281.9, and I believe this is called the Quad Rack. So those are our two great one Moose so far. So this guy spawned in 1127 kills and this guy took another approximately 1,350 kills later. But first, these are my two favorite rares so far from the moose grind. So this guy came from the first moose grind and I was just over the moon when I spotted him. He is a 233.5 melanistic. I knew he was mellow the minute I saw him. I was wondering if I wouldn't be able to tell. As long as they're not in the shade, you can definitely tell. Isn't he beautiful? And then this guy, spawned Christmas Eve day, and I had no idea he was melanistic. He was in a tree, I shot him, went to pick it up, and had a very pleasant surprise. He's a 217.1, and I love the tines that come up at the front, so. But in this grind, I have not spawned a single albino bull. Not one, and I am over 5,000 kills. What do I have to do to spawn an albino bull? <laughs> That's so crazy. So I actually have three of this size piebald, all pretty much exactly the same. All around 210 to 215 with the same rack. So I am hoping for a bigger piebald. All right, so let's have a look at the racks. So here we go, 277. And by the way, guys, moose are terrible trolls, just absolutely awful. They troll, I would say, close to 50% of the time. And level fours make diamond quite often. I actually think this is a level four diamond moose, 285. They can score 285, but there is definitely a lot of variation in the different diamond moose racks. This is a max waiter or close to it. This is the big boy rack. I have quite a few of them. My biggest moose to date is a 301.1. Which rack is your favorite diamond moose rack? And yes, they don't have to have shovels to make diamond. Basically, when you're trying to figure out whether you're looking at a diamond or a troll, look at the U shape between the antlers. The wider the U in the middle, the greater the chance that your moose will score diamond. Now this guy has one shovel, still makes diamond, so there are no hard and fast rules. They can have one shovel, two shovels, wonky shovels, no shovels. They can troll and they can make diamond. There are no guarantees. So this guy is a 300.5. He is an absolute monster. If you did enjoy the video, guys, hit that like button. If you are new to the channel, definitely subscribe for more Call of the Wild content. Go ahead and click right here for the next video that YouTube recommends just for you. Thanks for watching, guys, and we will definitely see you guys in the next one.